he left us doing what he wanted to do. Uh, he went into the program with his eyes wide open. It's, it's something that uh, the family respected and we accepted. He lived his life to the fullest and never forgot where he came from. Local Kona boy, Allison Onizuka, was on board the shuttle Challenger when disaster struck in January 1986. His family and friends were there at the launch site for what they thought would be a day of celebration. You know, when the shuttle launched and the uh, Challenger exploded, it was, it was almost looking straight up at it. But because we had viewed the, the launch in 1985, his first mission, um, we, we knew something went wrong immediately. Unfortunately, after the accident, when we view the launch, um, you can see a, a flame coming out of the rocket booster, from the leak on the rocket booster, which was shooting on the main fuel tank, and that's what made it explode. Ellison was born in Kealakekua, Kona, in 1946, back when life was simple. We were fortunate growing up in Kona, you know, we had the, uh, the country style of living, and. It was all, always academics, um, sports. Whatever he did, he wanted to be a winner. Once he set his mind up to doing something, he wanted to accomplish and do it right. I still remember my mom always said that, we cannot give you money, but we can give you an education. As a youngster, he was very proud of this uniform. Boy Scouts was very important. Um, Ellison got into scouting just before getting into high school. And within that four years, he attained his Eagle Scout rank. Upon graduating with full honors from Konawana High School, he had a clear vision of his future. When he was asked what he was going to major in, and he said uh, aerospace engineering, and everybody said, what's that? You know. <laughs> so it, it was uh, the early stages, but he knew his mind was set what he wanted to do. And... Uh, I still remember we, we sat in the living room at home and uh, uh, watched on television the, the splashdown of the capsule um, when John Glenn flew. And I think at that time he already had his mind set as to what he wanted to do. His college of choice was in Boulder, Colorado. Tuition paid for by the U.S. Air Force. After three years at college, he remained with the Air Force and became an instructor and a test pilot at Edwards Air Force Base. Soon came the opportunity to enroll in astronaut training. 8,000 applied for this position. Ellison was one of 35 selected. He was very excited when he was selected and uh, Ellison had the drive and he had, he had all the, the things that they look for in an astronaut. So he was the first Asian American astronaut to fly in space and the first from Hawaii. He was very proud of that. After extension training, he was ready for his first flight as an astronaut in January 1985, a top secret mission for the Department of Defense. Upon returning, uh, we brought him back to Hawaii for a big celebration. As soon as he returned from his first mission, he was assigned to a second mission. That second mission was a year later, January 28, 1986. It seems like it only happened yesterday, you know, I mean, uh, other than um, seeing tapes and things uh, of the shuttle explosion and things, I mean, we, we have copies of those tapes, but um, I don't think any of our family members have ever viewed it. You know, when he was uh, in Houston, he used to call me like two, three times a week, you know, and we'd talk and even after uh, we lost him, you, then, you know, you think back, wow, is he going to call? Every time he came back home, he wanted to share his experiences with the people of Hawaii and the students and children. Uh, to that effect, we try to keep that legacy going for him. He was uh, just a normal guy. He never bragged about his grades or how well he was doing. Even after becoming an astronaut, he always uh, uh, gave credit to the people that helped him um, get there and uh, never forgot his roots in Hawaii and Kona. He leaves behind his wife Lorna and two daughters. You'll find tributes to Ellison all across the country, from little Tokyo in Los Angeles to a Japanese memorial garden in Florida, from his alma mater in Boulder, Colorado to various tributes right here in his hometown. His legacy lives on. Ellison Shoji Onizuka, a local Kona boy who reached for the stars and lived his dream.